Hello everybody, welcome back to Black Ops 1 Zombies. We are now going to be tackling a map that I'm not very fond of, Shangri-La. Now admittedly, I've really, I've, I've warmed up to this map a lot recently, but I don't think it's anything too great. I, I would say over the past few years, it's gone from a uh, an F tier map in my eyes to more of a C tier. It's fine, but it's not for me. And I was really, I was having like, um, shower thoughts this morning, taking a shower, thinking about, hey, I'm playing Shangri-La today. What am I going to say about it? Is the, is the FOV fine? It's not cog, it's, I already forgot the command. CG, CG. FOV 90. Yeah, okay, I guess FOV didn't change since yesterday. Um, so yeah, I've been trying to figure out what I'm going to say about this map. And I was thinking about, oh, it's close quarters, it's hard. And I'm not a big fan of how, like, of the reason why it's difficult. Because I'm not a big fan of close quarters maps. But then I thought about Call, not Call of the Dead, um, 5. That's one of my favorite maps, yet it's also a difficult close quarters map. So, my question is, why do I love 5, but I don't like Shangri-La? It's a weird question that I'm not confident that I have an answer to just yet. I think a big part of it, just like thinking of reasons why off the top of my head, one reason could be that there are tight training spots in five that it's difficult to train in, but it's still fair. And in Shangri-La, it's one of those maps where you have to like train the zombies like around the map, like do a full map train. And that's just not something I enjoy doing. Like, I know some people really enjoy, like, the running gun style, like, moving from one place to another. I, that's not really what I'm into. I'm more prefer, like, I have this area, this room, and I try to hold it down. I try to, um, try my best to monkey. I tried my best to survive in a in one specific area, then I might jump around areas, but I'm not constantly moving around the map. Um, um let's open debris. Um, what weapon is here? MPL. Okay, I'm one door away from hitting the box. I know I probably could have knife this round and gun the box instead of an MPL, but I just wanted... Let me turn down my headset. The audio is really loud for me. I'll make sure it's good for, um, for you guys. And I'll let it in post, but... But yeah. Um, another thing about this map is I would say it's the first map to have like a a bigger main quest. Um, Ascension introduced main quests. It was kind of whatever. Call of the Dead had a main quest. It was kind of whatever. They were both short, super easy to do. But I would say, like, this is the first, like, quote-unquote modern-style quest because it's a quest that has many steps to it and you can't really do it all in one round. Let me see if I can... Yeah, max ammo from this. Oh, nope, I ain't getting that. Maybe? I got a carpenter, whatever. I got caught in the spikes. Nice, got 500 from that. Um, let's start moving. I think I want to keep my 1911 
But I will be hitting the box. Just try to find something. Oh! Screw 1911. I can't believe I got the baby gun on my first hit. Okay, then. So, if you're wondering why I'm calling this the baby gun... They're little babies, and we kick the babies. Hey, rude. <laughs> I got too distracted with the babies, but that's fine. It's fine. Okay. Okay, I need to be careful. I should not be using this weapon as my main source of killing. It more should be like an emergency gun. I should be using my MPL to kill. And I know I said that I wanted to keep my 1911. And looking back, I probably should have kept it. Uh, but maybe if I had, like... If I get a ray gun, I'll be fine. Um, I'm going to head back and grab... Um quick revive and then we can work on getting more points okay okay um, normally I like to keep the door down here closed, but I'm probably going to open it just so I can get the power quicker. And I'll probably rock out with my MPL for quite a while. Uh oh, Shrieker. Oh man. Goodbye. So, I would say that this is the first map to introduce, like, new, like, zombie types. Like, yeah, we've had Hellhounds, we've had Monkeys, we've had George. But I wouldn't necessarily say that those are new zombie type, quote-unquote zombie types. This map introduces the Shrieker and the Napalm. I think the Shrieker is fine. He's a decently interesting distraction. Um... The Napalm Zombie, I'm sure I would enjoy more if he wasn't on such a small map. Um, I'm just going to buy more ammo, and then we can start opening doors. Because I want to buy Jug as quickly as I can. Okay, 7.30. We should also try to figure out where the... Where pack... Oh, pack punch. It's right there. Okay. Um, I might be able... There's an palm. Um, check it. Million dollar idea. Oh, wow. He did that quickly. I'm not sure what to do with him. I know if I get close enough to him, he'll blow up. Okay. Try my best not to die. Oh, good. Let me reload just so I have ammo. Going. Okay, let's head up by ammo because that'd be cheaper than buying a whole new gun, especially if the gun is bad. Try to make sure that they don't respawn. I don't know what I'm going to do about the napalm. Okay, I can afford jug. Oh. Oh, 
Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, Insta does work on you. Kind of. Okay. We got Jug. I'm thinking we get Speed Cola. Which will be on the other side of this. But I kind of want to hit the box now. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, but no. Nope. Good max. I could have made that a perk, but I don't care. No. Not I not now, I would say. I mean I could make that work with what I have, but I'm not going to try. I need an explosive weapon. I would love an explosive weapon, even if it's like I've, nope, I'm not gonna say it. Just give me a ray gun. Okay, HK is fine. Dude, how am I low key doing better on this than I did on Call of the Dead? Nope. Ugh, yikes. Now I'm very nervous. Because I want PhD and I want um, Speed Cola. And along with PhD, I want a ray gun. Because I think explosive weapons are super good on this map. Uh, maybe double tap could also be good. Stop giving me the HK. Um, I haven't said my goal for this map. I think I was going to say like 15 since I'm not good at this map, but we might be able to make it to 20. RPK is good. Excuse me. Pick up. Um, okay. Okay. We got RPK, which is pretty good. The JGB is fully reloaded. I could start buying doors down here. Another one. Okay. Go, go, go. Reload. Just kind of camp here. Okay. Um, I don't know why, but this is going so much better than I thought it would go. Okay. Reload. Good. I need Speed Cola ASAP. PhD Speed Cola must be out here. I'll, I'll buy it, I'll buy it, I'll buy it. It's not, oh, or it's up here. I realized I could have gone the other way, and I would have been a lot better. Box is right here, I'll hit it. You know, I shouldn't be. Nope. Okay, let's get out of here. I have two shots, one shot. Reload. See up. <gasps> Fire cell. Probably way too late to get that. Crap. No oh well. Realize that uh, I'm gonna have zombies behind me in a minute. 
Perfect. Okay. Oh my goodness, this insta kill. <laughs> Goodbye, please. Goodbye, please. I might actually pack a punch, Meyer PK. Uh, but I really w would love a ray gun, but honestly, I think the RPK might do me better. I, I got I got my JGB. I'm good with that. Bite speed, Cola. Okay. Now let's save up for pack up another one. I think I might get double tap and just double tap and then, yeah, just pack a punch the. The RPK. My goodness. Reload. Please kill. That did a lot. Okay. Okay, next priority will be pack a punching the RPK. Although I low key might actually buy stamina up. Do you think stamina up might be better? I mean, it's right here. Me, probably not. Nope. My goodness. I'm really cutting it close. Okay, I'm packing the RPK. Oh, there are spike mores. Forgot about that feature. Or maybe I'll pack, I'll pack the JGB. I changed my mind. And we, we can hit the box because I would like monkeys. Monkeys would be great. Oh, they're coming. I'll chill up here for a bit. Bums of uh, wee. Oh, that's a napalm. Good. Okay, I guess let's. My goodness, I was close. If I didn't have Jug, I would have been screwed. Okay, box is over here. I really shouldn't be spamming the weapon like that. Okay, um, box is down here, so we can hit that. Hopefully try to get a ray gun. Please, please. No. I hear him running. Okay. Give me honest, I I I'm not I've not been paying attention to 
what round I've been on. I've not been t paying attention to that counter, so I'm not even gonna look at it. Okay. Um, a max ammo would be perfect right now. That is a shrieker. Well, we are in trouble. Goodness. Double points. I mean, double points is nice. Dude, I might actually have to pack my RPK. If I... But I won't. No. Dude, I'm so glad that the pack a pack a punch baby gun makes them babies for longer. Please. I mean even monkeys would be great. I would love monkeys. Ooh ooh ah, ah monkey. No. I might take it just uh Can't even hit it. I understand why I'm doing this for escape. Nope. Probably best case scenario there. Another shrieker. Dude, I forgot how often we get special enemies in this map. Coming behind me. Just be careful. Fox right here. Stop giving me a China Lake. Please, one more, one more, one more. One more box hit. He made it to round 15. No. Come on, we gotta be due for a, for a max ammo. Pretty sure I can get drops from the JGB, but now I'm not sure. Oh, <gasps> Raygun. So now I can show how I like to use the JGB. Well, first I'll get you off here. So how I like to use it, I like to shrink the zombies, then kill them with the ray gun. Driving this. But I realize that doesn't really work well in this map. Um, or I, or should I say in this version of this map, because that's the strat that I use in BO3, Shang. I shrink them on with the baby gun, then I shoot them with, like, the ray gun or another explosive weapon. But now, I feel like I'm more on a much high alert than I usually am. How high does my board say I've been on Shang? 17. So I guess 17 is my highest round on BO1 Shang. Oh, and the Pack-a-Punch stone is right here. So I might as well just chill here, get kills with the ray gun, and then Pack-a-Punch it. I still don't have um monkeys, so it might be best to do that to Pack-a-Punch in between rounds. And I should just save my baby gun 
for for like emergencies. Hey, rude. Okay. Okay. Did I hear a napalm? Or am I high? I might be high. Oh, I should have let the monkeys take that. But I could try to get um, monkey bombs. No, I am not high. There is absolutely a napalm somewhere. Nope. That's the gun of death. If I'm not gonna have enough time to... Hold on, how long will you stay a baby with this? Longer. Okay. Go. Go. Reload. Pack. Okay, now we're all set up. Dude, I forget how good this map looks. Like, I've always thought that this map like, it looked good for BO1 standards, but it's still, like, a BO1 map, so it looks ugly. And I don't know if it's just plutonium, but this map does look gorgeous. I it, I think what I, I played um, Donkey Kong Country a few weeks ago, and this is just reminding me of DKC1. Maybe a little bit of DKC2, like, in the Lost Worlds. Let's probably get off of this. Okay, let's try to get a full horde going. I don't know if I can do that. I, I, I had to shoot the monkey. Yeah! There we go. Now things are looking great. Dude, I think I can get to, like, round 25. Plus a max ammo. We are looking great. For real, for real. Except there are a few things I still need to get. Besides monkey bombs, of course. Um. Screw it. Let's find them now. Dude, I'm afraid this is going to be a short video. I, I would like all these videos to be an hour long each, but... If I get to, like, round 35 and die, then I'll be good. Uh, first of all, I want Semtexes. I love using Semtexes on this map. Just so I can, like... Screw it, I'll do, do that strat right now. But first, while I'm thinking about it... Of course, I need to buy Spike Moors. They're Claymores, but with spikes on them. Wooden spikes. They... To my knowledge, they... Have Essentially function the same as claymores, but they're cooler. So this is the strat I like to use. Normally that door would be closed, but you train them, get a good horde, you shoot them, you throw some techs on the roof or the ceiling, and it kills them. I love the baby gun because you can use it in several different ways. And there's no one way that's correct or incorrect, unless you're on VL3, where running through the zombies is not a good idea. Okay, I realize being in here is a bit of a liability. Dude, that napalm killed tons of zombies. I, I, I think that... I know I literally said before that um, I would be okay with... Hold on, I'm going to try to get a max from this. I would be okay with the napalms if they weren't on Shang. But I actually think if you can get a napalm to explode in a... It, it, nice. If you can get a napalm to explode in, like, a choke point where, like tons of zombies will go through then that is 
like a great way to use it. Like I love enemies that you can use with the environment. Boink. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I guess they do function differently because they kind of the spikes kind of shoot outwards. I should not be in here. Also, I should say that I beat my PB when it comes to high round. Do honestly? Like, I always claim that I don't like Shangri-La that much. Oh. But the more I play this map, I think the more I enjoy it. It's so weird. Because I've never liked this map, but like the past few times I've played it, I've really enjoyed myself. That's round 20. That's further than main and call the dead, and that's actually really sad. Or impressive, depending on how you want to look at it. We're 30 minutes in. I'll keep going till I die. So yeah, this might be a shorter video. Not because I died super early, but because I was able to get a really good run in the single game. Okay, screw it. Let's train in this room for a little bit. Let's see how this goes. I think I'm kind of interested in training in several different rooms to see which ones I like the most. Okay. So we can take this out, mostly because I run faster with it, I think. Oh, you're coming through. I think I got a full horde, kind of. So they're all, nope, they're still coming. Now I got a full horde. Plop. Plop. Oh, hold on. Free perk. Free perk. Okay. After fire sale. Oh, let's go. Double tap. Oh, huge. Except I don't have any purpose for double tap with the set I'm running. But hey, I was able to get a free perk. Oh! Did the ray gun always have this fast? Oh, I'm stupid. Yeah, yeah, double tap works with this. It increases my fire rate. So yeah, yeah, double tap is really good for this. Yeah, 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 I'm a zombies player. I know how double tap works. And screw it, we can use this nuke to get an actual... An actual max, maybe. Nah, I won't. Because it's so close to the waterfall. If I want to screw around with drops, I should be a bit further away from pack. So... Uh, I should hit the box a little bit more, try to get monkeys. I think monkeys would be great, especially when I'm trying to change for drops. I'm on round 21. You stupid. No, I'm not. What's 9 plus 10? 21. You stupid. Oh, that is such a satisfying sound. Hearing all the spikes go. Nope. Yep, that is indeed a napalm. Don't die. Oh, 
Oh boy, this could be bad. Kill him. What what drop is that? Insta kill. Please Oh, I didn't think that through. I might go for it. Screw it. I need a max. Bad. So what I might have to do is just hang out in here till I get a drop. Rude. Rude. That's a napalm. Oh, it goes up. We ain't dying. Tried. It's not too late. If I hurry, oh, it might be too late. Oh I'm fine. Just run. I lost double tap, but that's whatever. Okay, we're back here, but now we are just missing some some ammo. Fine. Oh, we got it. Okay. I did not want to pick that up. Okay. My goodness. Go. going to try to get a max from this. Nice. Perfect. Now the next time I get a max, I can try to change it to a perk. Show you. Nope. See ya. Nope. See ya. My goodness. Dude, I could make 25. Oh, dude, we're... Uh, dude, I'm one round away from 25. Okay. 
Here we go. My goodness, look at this. Look at this scenery. Okay. My vodka. Dude, I can't explain it, but I think saying that this map is a C tier, just what I said at the start of the video, I said that I consider this map to be a C tier map. I think that's doing this map a huge disservice. Okay. Because I think this map is so much better than a C tier. I've really misjudged this map. And a lot of people have said, and this phrase drives me up a wall because so many people, especially zombies YouTubers are so, that was stupid. Hold on, let me get through this so I can finish my thought. Yeah, but so many people say that this map aged like fine wine because they, that, that was a terrible nerd voice. It, it, it aged like fine wine, but they always use that phrase and it drives me up a wall because n no zombie YouTubers creative enough to think of a different phrase. It's always aged like fine wine. That's the only phrase that they can think of. But I don't think this map has aged w as well as people make it out to be. Instead, I think we have gotten better as Zombies players. This map was so polarizing when it... Oh, no. Okay. This map was so polarizing when it first came out because no one knew how to train. No people weren't as good as Zombies as they are now. And now people really appreciate this map for, for how it plays, how it looks, how it feels... Like, this map is difficult, but in a fun way. And yeah, the baby gun and PhD plus an explosive weapon makes it a lot easier, but you don't have to play it like that. You can run and gun with, like, two bullet base weapons and still have a lot of fun with this. I'm Like, I was having fun with playing with the RPK and the Galil. So... To answer my question that I asked at the beginning of the video, why, um, I'm actually going to buy Stamina Up. Why do I love 5 for being a difficult map, but I don't like Shangri-La for being a difficult map? And I think the answer is that I do like Shangri-La. I like it a lot. And it just took me a few years to realize it. Because this map is really good. But back when I played it, when I was younger, I wasn't good. And now I've made it to round 25, which I'm very, very happy with. This is one of those maps that I dread playing whenever I have to play it, but then I boot it up and I just have an amazing time. I will say, I don't think the same way about BO3 Shang. I think, nope, that's it. I couldn't pull it out in time. But yeah, I don't feel the same way about BO3 Shang. That's a conversation for another day. But BO1 Shang. This is a map I have underrated for myself. And every time I play this map, I enjoy it more and more. And this was a really eye-opening game. I'm really excited to upload this because you guys are going to be able to watch me fall in love with this map all over again. Well, not again, but like... 
every like I could see this map being like up there in the A tier for me if I give this like some more time. But Shangri La, I'm you you surprised me today. You really did. So I'm gonna end it off here. Thank you so much for watching. It means a lot to me. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Okay, see ya.